Alrighty, in this video I'm going to talk briefly about um, arpeggiated chords, basically a walking bass technique. That just means you're walking up the chords as opposed to playing the chord, you know, like a, like a G chord here. You know, guard a finger a G chord like that. That's a G chord. It sounds nasty on the bass. That's why the bass walks up the chords. So playing each note. Now, the real, real quick though, the, the notes we're going to be worrying about are G, B, D, and then C, E, G, and then D, F sharp, A, because that's those are our three main major triads for the chords we're playing. Now the reason we're going to play the D here and the G here whenever we play the C and the G is because we we don't want it ringing. We don't want it. that sounds nasty. We want. Alrighty, the song we're going to be working with is a uh, Rock and Robin by Bobby Day. Recorded forever back just because it's simple. We can get into you know more complicated walking bass stuff later, like the you know the Beatles with the birthday and the but for now we're gonna worry about now. Most bass players have terrible technique and they'll go. I want you reaching your pinky out to the fifth fret. Like that. That's if you ever watch all the people who are considered great bass players, whether you're watching Ant Whistle from The Who or you're watching um, whatever his name is, the guy who's famous for his version of Amazing Grace now. Can't remember. Can't believe I forgot his name. Or you know, in any of the bass, even the Flea has decent technique. But don't watch Red Hot Chili Peppers, please. <laughs> So those are the only chords we're going to be worried about. What we've got here is a G arpeggio. The pattern is going to be two, one, four, one. If you have my, your fingers, we're going to base our index finger off of the first fret. Okay. So two, two, one, four, one. All right. So same thing with the C. You just drop it down to the C. For the G's right here on your E string. The C is going to be on your A string. So. So two, one, four, one. Then you're going to shift up to the fourth position, which means you base your index finger on the fourth fret, and do the D off of the A string here, and do the same pattern. All right, that's your D. All right, so I'm going to shout out the chord names as we go along with the song. All right. Oh, just a second. That audio part. Let's try that again. There is no chord here in the beginning, all right? All right, here's the only tricky part. That's an F sharp to a G up here, fourth fret to fifth fret on your D string. All right, you got C. G, D, C, G. That's the F sharp to the G. Back to the chorus, C. G, D, C, G. Now we have an instrumental that's 12 bar blue. So G, G, C, G, D, C, G, C, C G, D, C, G, D, C, D, C, G, D, D, there you just hit the D and stop. Back to this. Back to the chorus. So C. G. D. C. G. C. G. C, D, 
and just hit the D and leave it. Can we do this one more time? Back to the chorus, C. G. D. C. G. And that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.